Alright. This is the beginning screen you come to when you load up. I'll give you a quick breakdown of what everything is here. Top left corner you got your name. Over here you see uh what each thing is across the tabs. So you click on your name here. Gives you overall stats. So you see I played a few matches just so I could have some knowledge before I do this movie here. So down here you got like your messages, anything important that happens. You'll get messages late, uh, frequently right here. Next button's your play button. Obviously, do whatever matches here. We'll get into that later. Bottom left, you got your chat. Click the second tab, you got friends list. You know, whatever. Up here, you got your tabs. I'll tell you what they are over here. So you got your news. Whatever type of shit happens here. Uh, fucking rankings. Uh, it's, it's your company selection. That's what we were looking at first. As you can see, I got one company made already. I'll make a brand new one for you guys here. Um, this next tab, company management. So, within the company I got already, these are my dudes. You know, I bought a few extra, a few archers. Um, over here you got missions. So, if I wanted, I could... You know, you got, you'll gain a hundred and ten ducats here. Cost me fifty. Take fifteen minutes. I could pick a dude to send. Now, when I send him, if I want to do a match, I won't be able to use him in that match till he gets back. My inventory. These are items you can get here. Um, like over here in the store, you can buy these healing cards. You guys will acquire injuries eventually. You'll want to use these cards to fix that up because they'll start the battle with the injury. And you got a couple cosmetic things. Um, so it looks like the game's still in early development because these are the only units I can buy for this faction. These numbers in yellow behind the recruit sign, they tell you how much uh, AP it adds to your army. And, um,. When we go in here to hit play, you can see the size of the battle. There's certain AP brackets. Um, so as you get higher in level, you'll unlock more. And you'll upgrade your guys. They got a few matches down here. A few different game modes. I unlocked them already. I'm level 6. Um, over here it shows me I got one guy on a mission right now. Comatose. Uh, some units can die during some of your missions. You look down here. Two percent chance of falling on comatose. So, <clears throat> with that being said, we'll just jump right into this. Right here, dirty company. So you can set your active company. Only your active company can send guys on missions. Just so you know. Anyway, we'll go in here. You got your three factions, darkness, these wolves, middle ground, and the light. We'll make a light. Looks like you can make two other types of this faction, but like I said, game's still being developed. We'll go here. Now, these are your three beginning loadouts you can choose. Now, I, what I didn't notice right away, you know, down here it says for all level players and whatnot. But down here, it gives you actually tips on how to play them. So, this one you get three swordsmen, one archer, and one line. So, it says you want your swordsmen to occupy the enemy troops while your archer harasses. And then the line, the line actually has a lot of movement. So, um, you know, he can either initiate or do some chasing down, whatnot. Um, you know, I'm not going to read all these, but basically you want to check that out for what, what you're going to pick. But we'll just go with this basic one. Give him a name here. Alright. 
alright, we'll lift this dude up. Alright, so up here we're in the company management. And look over here, this one's my active company. We'll rock this out. So each of these guys, um, you'll notice, tells you how much AP each one's gonna cost to uh, add up to your total army AP. I'm at 186, so I have a little bit of room for improvement, you know, within my bracket. Um, so, give you an example down here, my archer, if I go to talents, in level 2, he's got this ability right here, sharpshooter, which is nice, but it adds 15 AP. If I get that, that'll set me to 201. That means when I start a battle, I'm going to have to remove one of these guys from my group, and that's that's kind of not, not really good. So just keep in mind when you want to upgrade. Just look at how much AP it costs and how much you got right now. Just keep in mind. Alright. So we'll go ahead and get into some PvP right now. And see over here it shows you the value of your men. When you got more guys, you might want to choose your army. But you can always add it up on your own. You know, whatever. So, alright, we'll just do deathmatch. Let's get it going. All right, you get one more chance to finalize. All right, this beginning screen, or this stage, I should say, you get to pick your initial placement of you guys so I'm just going to put my archer in the back for harassment and keep my ambush line over here up here's the hourglass where you can hit the space bar alright so up here you see the dots he's got three characters and I got five so I'm gonna go first. Down here shows the level of his guys. He's got a level two, a level three, and a level one. So I'm just gonna move my front line up. You notice it's got some shields around the bushes when I was moving them. It's got cover on two sides so up here are my five dots one of them went away showing that I moved one guy it's still the first turn it won't change to turn two until every unit has moved once damn even behind my cover he still shot me it's not good alright only good thing is he's stuck there so I'm gonna run up on him with my line now that he's engaged if he tries to run away I'll hit him looks like a hundred percent oh man I didn't check to see how much he can run I got so lucky. I parried everything. I'm just gonna keep on trucking. <laughs> All he has left is this guy. What's he gonna do? See, I could see he could only move so far. Down here is movements five, so you can only move five blocks. And yeah, that's not bad though. Yeah. I'm trying to get. 
gang up on my guy. I don't like that. So look, here's my archer. I can move the furthest as I can on the green, which is four. He's got four movement. Now, if I can, if I want, I can still take a shot right now. But I have more of a chance to hit my own guy than I do him. So I'm gonna take this opportunity just to get closer. Too. Damn, I get to go first again. Alright. So, look, he won't kill him in one shot, but I can go up here to offensive stance. It'll make me more vulnerable, but I'll be able to swing twice on this guy. Hopefully, kill him. Yo. And since I finished him off, I get to swing again on somebody else. This is looking real good. Gets this soon twice. <clears throat> so here's all your stats down here and what they mean. Out in the uh, main lobby, you're able to look at all this. I'll show you where that is after the match. All right. So look, this guy's within my my green range. My sword changes. I'm able to charge. That'll stun him. Which is close. Yeah. So I click him down here, he's got stunned. I'll tell you what that does. Yeah, he's in my range too, so I'm gonna charge him again with this guy. Yo, he's not looking this. Alright, now. I'm going to have three people engage in one unit. You also get another bonus when you do that. So I'll click him. I don't know if it shows it on your own people or what. Well, in the tutorial, they show you how you get an extra bonus when you surround somebody with three units. Damn, look, I'm gonna shoot this guy anyway. So he goes first. You know, he's got all these extra abilities. You know, you wanna make sure you use these up here. There's a number next to him. That's how many times you can use them for the whole game. So just kind of use them wisely. See, he's having a hard time hitting my guys because we're surrounding him with three people. You know, if I left click him, you can see he's only got 45% chance to hit him. 40, 35, you know. And we all got a hundred percent. It's just not fair. <laughs> so I might just take an offensive stance here and uh now nah, wait. Yeah. I don't wanna die and waste it. So let's see. Now what that guy did, see it raises, he's got a fifty percent chance to hit my guys. See how that kind of Affected the battle. I don't think he can win. Now, see, I don't have a direct line of sight, so I can't charge this guy. But I can at least do an offensive and a double hit on him. And they let me go first.
Yo, so you get your money XP. Here's your uh, individual characters leveling up. And um, they don't actually get any stats from leveling up. They just give you the ability to upgrade your talents. Alright, so um, like I said, I was going to show you over here in the company management. You can hover over and see what accuracy does, damage, parry, you know, your movement. You know, you want to pay attention to all this stuff. It's very helpful in battle. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it. So, uh, next episode, I'll show more matches. Uh, sometimes they can tend to be a little long, so I'm going to do some time lapses. And, uh, you know, in between the waiting parts, you know, try to give some tips. And I still am kind of new. I'm only level 6, but, you know, I can give you some ideas. You can see how things play out for me. Hopefully give yourself some ideas, too. Alright. Alright, y'all. Take it easy.